So if you're asked to triple one third of a cup, so three times one third of a cup, how many cups do you get? And it's actually not too bad. So let's look at a visual kind of way and then we'll do the math way. So when I look at this, we have three cups and they're divided into three equal pieces, each one. So this right here would be one third, one part out of one, two, three. So let's move these pieces over here So now you can see we have one full cup. So when you triple one third of a cup, you end up with one cup. So pretty easy, right? Three one third cups, that gives us one whole cup. Let's do it the math way though. Let's multiply one third times three, and I'm gonna call it three over one. Three divided by one is still three, but now everything lines up. Because when we multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators and then the denominators. So one times three, that equals three and three times one, that's three, and three divided by three is one, just like we got before. So when we triple this one third of a cup, we get one cup. And that's how you do it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.